Welcome friends, in this section I will be explaining you some more terminologies um, like uh, correction factors. Uh, what is a correction factor basically? Uh, for example, if a cable is designed for 2 amperes and if you are use if you are putting this cable uh, you are running this cable single in, in conduits or you are running with 10 or 20 cables together it means they will be adding up of the heating effect so the, the heating uh, will be added uh, by other cables heating will be added to this cable so it means that if uh, if there is an, a source of heating somewhere then the cable cannot be used uh, uh, with the same rating as supplied for example if the cable is supplied at 2 ampere and if you are running alone uh, the, the factor k factor correction factor could be 1 but if if the cable is used with 10 another cables together and it's in, in, in a very tight conduits there will be already heating effect so then you have now you have to multiply with certain factor that's called as an k factor so it means that you have to uh, then uh, really have to multiply with some factor it means you cannot use the cable at its full capacity because of certain factor of environment so these are all factors are called as uh, k factors so uh, i will just give you a brief introduction about some k factors here uh, one is uh, temperature correction factor in year k1 another factor is ground temperature correction factor k2 then uh, we have thermal resistivity correction factor k4 then we have soil correction factor K4 then we have cable depth correction factor K5 for example if you are putting the cable in in less depth or more depth uh, the rating of the uh, cable uh, could be derated uh, as per the uh, depth then we have cable distance correction factor K6 then cable grouping factor K7 that just I explained you so uh, the cable uh, rating is coming down it's going down it's keep on derating and the reason for this is uh, could, could be many reasons so, uh, at the end of uh, this uh, training i have also added uh, in this one an example in which we will do the calculations and we will select this factor so let's show you this, uh, these factors now just to have a simple discussion so this is a temperature correction factor in year k1 so as I told you <coughs> here the ambient temperature then I have discussed an example of a very very cold area and hot area so you can see if a cable uh, temperature ambient temperature is uh, of any specific area cannot go beyond 10 degrees centigrade it's kind of a very cold areas so in those areas the capacity of the cable is increasing it's going to 1.22 so if you're using a pvc cable if it is rated at uh, for example 1 ampere you, at 10 degree you can it, it's the capacity will, will be multiplied by 1.22 and xlpe capacity is multiplied by 1.515 <coughs> so here another interesting thing is that pvc uh, rating factor uh, or k factor is uh, more than xlp because pvc can bear more temperatures <coughs> next you can see uh, as the temperature here is increasing the ambient temperature where the cable is laid then you can easily see the uh, k factor or d rating factor that you will multiply with the rating of the cable is also decreasing so after 60 at 65 it's not allowable to use the pvc whereas uh, the xlpe in this case you can see here that it can be used up to extreme temperature of 80 degree centigrade so pvc uh, if temperatures are more so the pvc cable will be preferable so this is example of correction factor in here then we have ground temperature correction factor k2 so if the cable is uh, in the ground then uh, the derating factor is different and 
here you can see if the obviously it is now you can see if increase, temperature is increasing uh, then uh, derating factor is also decreasing here uh, uh, you know that uh, the heat dissipation in air is uh, more as compared to soil so they both have different uh, rating factors then we have thermal resistivity correction factor k4 for soil when thermal resistivity of soil is known so now we have uh, thermal resistivity uh, basically uh, coefficients so depending upon different resistivity because if the resistivity thermal resistivity means how much uh, uh, a soil can conduct the electricity uh, can conduct the temperature so if it's uh, good in conducting the temperature its uh, resistivity thermal resistivity is uh, good so the uh, derating factor will be less so and vice versa then we have a soil correction factor so again uh, if soil is uh, for example very wet the correction factor is good because in this case the soil will conduct the heat in, in, in proper way and the conductor can be used uh, at higher currents uh, for example this could be the case of uh, near the sea soil which is al already you will find the soil very wet then we have wet soil then we have a damp soil further you can see a dry soil and a very dry soil so uh, as as much as the soil is getting drier the k factor is uh, going down then we have another uh, correction factor or uh, then it's uh, called as a depth factor so another thing is how much uh, you are uh, bringing a cable uh, under the uh, uh, under the ground under the earth so you, you can see here if depth is increasing and the derating factor the cable will be more derate so and the correction factor you can see at uh, 0.5 percent a meter the correction factor is uh, 1.1 and at 0.7 it's uh, reduced to 1.05 similarly at 0.9 is uh, coming to 1.01 and at 1 it's the it's, it's, it's same as 1 and then 1.2 it's again going down so this is basically the cable uh, depth correction factor then we have cable distance correction factor so cable distance correction factor means uh, how many number of circuits uh, are laid in in cable diameters so here you can see if uh, number of circuits uh, are increasing uh, in a cable and then the cable will start derating and you can see the correction factors then you can see cable grouping factors uh, number of tray effect, uh, uh, factor this means uh, in uh, how many cables are grouped together so when I will show you the theoretical part uh, then you will understand more I will cover I have covered this in a theoretical part that how this factor is, uh, is decided number of cable per tray so if it's, it has only one cable in a tray then you can see the derating factor is uh, one there will be no derating if the if you keep on increasing the the basically the cables uh, within the tray the rating of the cable is is coming down and the reason is that other cables are already producing heating effect and which is basically increasing the temperature of the cable and if the temp base temperature of cable is already high then obviously it will reduce the rating of the cable so these are basically the correction factors uh, we will move to our next topic thank you very much